Coco, are you the cutest? You are the cutest. Oh my goodness. Have you seen a sweeter baby than this little one? Ah, I can't deal. She is so cute, but she definitely knows it. Hello, welcome to my new vlog. Today we are starting off in a really nice way by going to Bill's for breakfast. It's actually one of my best friend's birthday, so we're celebrating and this is their super cute dog, Coco. I love that you can take dogs into Bill's and she actually got given some treats from the staff as well, which I thought was really lovely. I went for quite a big breakfast today and Mark was sad because his was last to be bought out, but he did get it in the end. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10. I love the service in Bill's too. After breakfast, we decided to go for a walk. That breakfast was absolutely huge. That's called the Bill's Big Brunch, I think. And it's much <laughs> bigger than what I would normally have. But I was just so hungry today. Of course, I had to stop in M&S and have a look at the Easter eggs. This is the one I've picked out. I'm really hoping that I get that. And I couldn't have hinted more. Mark really liked that owl from Harry Potter. And I think our son would really enjoy the hot cross bun egg because he just loves hot cross buns so much. But to be honest, I wouldn't be um, upset with any of these eggs. They all look absolutely delicious. And if you've never tried it, I personally think that the M&S chocolate is some of the best that you can get. Um, yeah, they had so many cute things. And look at this. I long for you. It looks just like Coco. So this is much later. For our dinner, we had this chicken, ham and leek pie and it was absolutely delicious. And uh, had it with some asparagus, corn on the cob and sweet potato mash. Hello, welcome to a new day. So I have been filming content all morning. I had some reels that I wanted to do, an Agora review and a few other bits and pieces. I just actually used some NARS products to create this kind of Valentine's Day look. So I used this gorgeous Power Matte Lipstick in the shade Dragon. This is really nice. It has a lovely matte finish as the name would suggest, but it does feel comfortable on the lips and it's very long wearing. I also used the classic NARS Orgasm Blush. I think that this gives such a flattering like colour to my complexion and it also gives a nice little shimmer as well. And then on my eyes, I used the Wanted like mini eyeshadow palette. And I used this, whoa, sorry, this beautiful eyeshadow here. This one is called Shooting Star. So yeah, that is my little look that I created. I just had such an exciting delivery and I want to show you what I got. So I've had three things today. One I want to like unwrap with you now because I'm not sure what it is, but the other two are super exciting. When I tell you that I squealed <laughs> when I opened this box. So somebody from It Cosmetics did reach out to me and say, would I like to try their new CC cream, which was really exciting in itself. But what, I didn't know that I'd be getting like the full PR package. So I have got my CC Plus Nude Glow, which is the brand new, as I say, CC cream. Then they've also sent me, I know for a fact this is one of their like hero products. So it's a beautiful brush. One end is for foundation blending and the other end is really good for concealer. And then they've even sent me the Confidence in a Cream. This is a moisturiser that I have never tried before, but I've heard so many good things about. I have tried Confidence in a Rosy Cream and that one was beautiful. So I've got high hopes for this. And of course, I will be uh, filming a video shortly. 
Next up is a beautiful selection of brushes from Lottie London. So if you watch me on Agora, you'll know how much I love this brand. I particularly like their eyeshadow palettes and also they have an ombre blush, which I just think is stunning. And their super fake mascara is also a really good drugstore kind of high street uh, mascara to have. Now, these brushes, not only are they cruelty-free, vegan-friendly, they're super pretty. And when I was reading up on them, they um, people were saying that they are super soft. So I will be using them soon, and I will actually be posting content over on my TikTok. And next up is an envelope. Now, this says, thank you for supporting my small business. I think this is from Bijanet, but we will have to see. So Bijanet makes some beautiful jewellery. Most of my jewellery is from them, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just lovely jewellery. So it says gold-plated jewellery, www.bijanet.uk. So everything comes in these lovely little velvet pouches. What is it? Oh my goodness. So I saw these on Instagram and I thought, how cute. So these are little bees. They've got kind of tiny little diamantes, which are going to catch the light. Stunning. I think that the Bijanette, the quality of the jewellery is wonderful, um, lightweight, and I get so many compliments when I wear these. So again, I will be wearing these in future videos for sure. But they are so gorgeous. Thank you so much, Bijanette. I could be doing content all day, every day, if I wanted to. But it, it, the sun is shining and I think I'm going to go for a walk. I didn't go running this morning because it was really frosty. And I know that sounds like an excuse, but I just didn't want to hurt myself and fall over. So I think I'm going to walk into the town centre now. Probably do my usual walk around M&S. Because I did actually get an email this morning <laughs> saying I'm such a good customer. And it said, we've added a reward to your Sparks card and it's a packet of Percy Pig Sweets. So it would be rude not to go and get those. And uh, yeah, then I'll walk home and then Josh will probably be nearly home from school. So the weather has definitely changed again. I am wearing my super thick coat. It's really bright out though. So um, I'm wearing sunglasses, gloves and a winter coat. I think it's so nice just to get out in the day when I'm by myself and I can just go for a walk and clear my head because I do often just sit in front of the camera all day talking to myself essentially um, I just think it's lovely to get outside. Now I didn't know what Percy Pigs to get so at first I was going to get the Easter ones I thought they looked really nice but in the end I went for the Valentine's ones which I think was yeah Percy Pig loves Penny Pig and then the weirdest thing happened in Starbucks so I thought that these were their Valentine's cups but I think it just turns out that somebody wrote that on mine but uh, yeah, there we go. And then later on in the evening, we decided to watch the Pamela Anderson documentary. And uh, yeah, it's really good. Hi guys, it's now Wednesday. I'm going to wrap the vlog up here. Just wanted to mention that uh, last night when I watched the Pamela Anderson documentary, I thought it was so good. She's always somebody that I've really admired and I've always just thought that she came across as such a nice person. And thankfully watching this documentary, seeing her life in her own words, um, like confirmed exactly what I thought. So perhaps even if you're not a fan, I would recommend watching it because it is quite eye opening and yeah, I really enjoyed it. Right now, I am going to spend the afternoon cleaning, <laughs> so not very fun. Um, I did try out the CC Glow for the first time today. And although my skin at the moment doesn't look the best because of the lighting, it feels amazing. And actually, I am so happy with this product. So this is hours after I've applied it. But obviously, I am going to film a full video where I show um, this product and talk about it. So, of course, that will be on this channel soon. So I hope that you have a lovely day, whatever it is you're doing, and I'll see you later. Bye.